Imagine, if you will, living in a community such as this. You never know who your neighbors are. You never know who your neighbor's friends are. And you're hearing things in your backyard that you know just is not right. Imagine waking up one morning, taking the trash out and lifting up the lid. You look down and you see a dead baby. Well, that is exactly what happened that compelled a couple to come into a community such as this. To preach the gospel, to share the love of Jesus. Imagine a few days later that woman coming out of her house. She's horrified. She can't get the tormenting thoughts out of her mind. She gets in the car to drive to the local porn shop where she picks up her tricks to pay her rent. She begins weeping. Tears are flowing down her face so bad that she has to stop. Pulled into a parking lot and she looks down at the pills that are on the council. Should she end it all? Does anybody care? Can anybody hear her? She looks up and she sees this. Can Jesus really heal my broken heart? Can Jesus really heal what I've done? How can Jesus take away me murdering my own child? Can Jesus really take away a horrifying experience that she's just been in? She wipes the tears from her eyes and she starts to pull around. And all of a sudden a fit of rage hits her. She is mad, she is angry, she's going to get out and tear up that sign. She looks up and she sees this. Is Jesus really the missing piece? Can Jesus bring peace to this horrifying situation? Can Jesus even forgive me? As she contemplates this, you are now entering the God zone. Cry Jesus, oh sweet Jesus.